welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me. Taurus, this message is for you, and we are going to be discussing the rest of your June reading, your second reading. If you guys have not already, please make sure that you check out that description box below. And don't forget, there is a Love Tarot giveaway on Friday Night Love Tarot. Um, it's for $100, and it's going to be announced on July 4th. So definitely take the opportunity to see if you can, you know, enroll in there. My Taurus energy here. You have the Fool, the Eight of Wands, and the Mother, excuse me, the Daughter of Baskets here. All right, there's a truth, there's a clarity. Um, I'm going to take this as your energy. You've communicated with somebody new recently, Taurus, and made some sort of an offer when it comes to... Um, I'm going to go with love here. I'm going to go with love here. Some of you guys just, you're using your smarts about a situation and it's the logic behind it. It just made sense to try to start over with something new and then move quickly into something that just felt better. Pretty much what I'm picking up on there. Eight of sticks. You know, I feel like, okay, so this deck came out for a reason. This Eight of Swords actually has a tree in it that's been struck by lightning. Lightning is a very powerful energy that can create major havoc. Interesting. Okay, some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy um, that's not telling the truth okay could be juggling in a relationship with you um, so this incoming offer could be something brand new possibly from a boyfriend but the other issue here is that Taurus if this is you you're kind of embracing yeah you're embracing the energy here of what's going on with this full moon it's becoming a revelation for you about how you're supposed to be working on your emotions and I say that because I'm sitting here and what I see is the father of cups the two of pentacles and I see the eight of coins here it's actually something that's supposed to be like healthy for you in a way so mentally healthy you know trying to find clarity you know day and night there could have been someone who was you know over obsessing about something just going round and round in their head with that two of pentacles okay Taurus I mean, that's it's that's pretty much your energy tell me about your other person here it's just kind of how you've been feeling so your other person is definitely a soulmate, but they have a choice to make in life. And right now there's a toxicity or some sort of controlling energy around this particular person might be sexual addiction because you have the Ace of Wands and the Devil card together. Something that they constantly think about that they're ruminating about as well. Okay. Yeah. They know that they need to do something about it. I feel like this is a, a person that um, is possibly going through some sort of toxic situation their negativity their own negativity could kind of be coming back in and kicking them in the butt for some of the things that they've been doing um, you know really understanding that they need to delay trying to take advantage of other people mm, you can take that as it resonates I mean this person could be toxic and trying to delay you or they know that they've done this to you all right whoever this is it's definitely someone that's in your life uh, for the purpose of learning see what I'm saying Taurus this is you and this is a game that you're playing with this particular person because you know that this person sits in some sort of toxic voodoo boo-boo energy that's what I just heard voodoo boo-boo energy so um, I'm not sure why this person is trying to control you it could be sexually and they're really starting to see that you know you're very protected that's another energy for some of you my Tauruses okay you see this person coming in with this very quick energy here also here's the other thing for some of you I feel like this could be a masculine Taurus here you may have met someone new thinking that the sex is the bomb but you really need to think about what you're doing because this person has other plans seven of Pentacles energy you know they, they definitely have other plans for you mm -hmm. yeah be careful with this one be careful with this one and I'm, I'm going to say this because if for some of you there's a cleansing aspect here with the eucalyptus that's on this card with this disrespectful heartbreak type energy definitely a player energy here why are you showing me this yep 
because it's getting ready to come out. There's a conversation that's getting ready to come out about what's really being worked on here. I feel like someone, again, this is possibly a Capricorn energy with you. They're getting ready to tell you something about maybe a secret that someone was keeping here. Mm -hmm. And there's a truth about it because Libra is actually um, Saturn. Or the Three of Knives is Libra and Saturn. So there's a karmic twist or a karmic fate to whatever is going on between the two of you. And there's an, an emotional connection um, that's got you kind of going topsy-turvy here with this, this two of pentacles that came back out. Needing to balance yourself, knowing that you need to find this truth about this. Maybe that's the, I'm taking all of these. That's the clarity that came in for you about how you need to balance yourself out. Who you really are. This brand new opportunity to really root yourself in something new new opportunities knowing that new opportunities when you come maybe you guys are actually manifesting here the truth is is that blessings are coming pretty quickly for you but with this other person right here there's definitely conflict here over the control can't even make it up conflict bottom of the deck five of sticks with idolize idolize again is one of those energies that can go either way this person could either be your lover this person could be your hater all depends on the type of day I tell, it's some it could be family too here it could be a masculine energy um an adult male fire sign or just someone it could be a fire sign energy that's very dominant here that keeps causing this conflict i'm also picking up on a leo yeah and it's it's all about the karma of the situation there's some sort of cycle i'm seeing somebody get smacked in the face here taurus i see somebody smacking someone in the face and it shouldn't have happened it never should have happened and now this person whatever this toxicity is this person is still stuck in it mentally okay they carry an energy around them that needs healing yep and this has to be worked on okay i keep sensing the energy of you grounding you needing to ground <sighs> electrified energy with how you are going to be moving forward into being comfortable here. You and your cat. I don't know why you're taking the time to move so slowly though. You need to kind of pick up the pace. You have an offer that's going to come in that's going to bring you the opportunity to move forward. But I don't, I just, this three of swords between the two of you, you and your other person here. I feel like it's really, it's rooted pretty deep. Because you got the roots of the tree here. You have someone that's buried six feet deep. You know, I feel like you two have done dirt together. If that makes sense. You know? And this person is, uh, I don't know if they're stuck or they went to jail or what they did. Hold on. Mm, yeah, listen. They're jealous of you. Because this is all about abundance. They're stuck thinking to themselves about how abundant you are are every opportunity that you've ever had right and now the fact that they're stuck is literally gnawing at their brain i see almost like a especially if they've done something to you that was really disrespectful they could even have something parasitic gnawing at their brain okay some of you guys i might i'm not even gonna lie to you because of everything that this person manifested that was toxic they put themselves in their own little prison here right and their prison is getting worse and worse and you know what the prison is for some of you guys i know this sounds insane because i know this is family for some of you but the prison is cancer i see it it's just it's right here and i almost feel and and how do you tell somebody that they manifested something like that upon themselves you don't tell somebody like that like you would never think that because cancer you know doesn't just I don't know for some of you guys there's something here where it's like flesh eating or it's something see how there's like no flesh on the skull okay there's something that just like destroys cells i don't know what it is that's just what i feel it makes this person really tired and cranky and definitely thinking about how they want to be moving forward here at I, you know what's so funny is they come off as they're trying to protect you, but there's something that's just very parasitic about what they're holding on to, okay? They, I don't know why they're jealous of you either, Taurus. I don't. 
I don't know why they're jealous of you. The manifestation and the tools and the plans that this person has. Show me what else is going on with this. Any more clarification on this Three of Swords between these two people? Anything else? Going back and forth. This person tries to keep you stuck, and it's definitely a burden. I told you, you two have done dirt together. I don't think, I, for some of you guys, it is what it is. You're, it's not that crazy, but some of you have buried bodies together. Kind of like that Woody Harrelson combo where I, I don't even know how to describe it. It was like a couple that just went insane. And just did, I don't know. This is definitely, it's not a Bonnie and Clyde type of thing. This is a, you've been around me before, I've been around you before. We already know this, so can we just make this happen? And if we've got problems, work together to get things to go away, right? But then there, there's something that happened where there was some sort of confusion that was caused. Yeah, see, somebody had to step into their integrity about the things that were happening. Taurus, I feel like it was you because spirit was like lightning fast, message, 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 <laughs> message right here <laughs> that you needed to ground yourself and become more stable. So you started moving in that direction. And so this person still being stuck in the state that they wanted to didn't understand how you would want to possibly either become the masculine, become the feminine. Some of you become a parent, for that matter. And it literally stresses them out because of the things that you need to be doing. And you're not able to run free and clear cross-country and, and do crazy stuff with them anymore. It's a very interesting energy. So it's almost like a... I don't know. It's like a sidekick type of thing, in a way. I don't know. I'm just, I'm thinking about that slap in the face, right? So it could have had something to do because look, the Leo energy just came back out. But there's also this toxicity here. Lots of pain, lots of anger in regards to somebody here. Somebody feels that this, per this person feels stuck. And all of this revelation is really coming out about this person. That's why it's so painful and it's so burdensome. And you're like, do I have to keep going through this cycle? You know when they're coming to offer you some sort of energy that just doesn't feel right. It's like you can sense it. It might even feel hot to you. Hot air, maybe? This person's full of hot air? Could be. Could be. For some of you guys, I feel like your other person really went through a very hard time. I feel like they had a hard life when they were younger. If this person is older and actually sits around you, there is an energy here where someone does not want you to go through um, the hard knocks that they went through. And so they try to do things to help you. This is your energy. See what I'm saying? Look at this. But I feel like you, the work that you need to be doing is protecting yourself because there's deceit going on. Okay. Eight of Pentacles here. I told you, there's some work that's going on here. Work. Commitment. Being on the defense. There's a lie here. Some of you guys, I feel like you got yourself into a situation with someone that you never expected to hurt you. And this person over here kind of had your back at one point. This person definitely had your back at one point. But the only reason you got into the situation that you got into was because you didn't tell the truth right? You were being on the defense about something that you were really truly working on and that's not where you were, where like you were headed and the truth came out about it. Like there's something that gets exposed about this Taurus. Yeah. And the only reason it's happening is because the universe wanted to happen that way, period. You know, it, it's just, it needed, is like a social awareness type of thing here with this Aquarian energy. It's like, you know, breaking free of a system, Aquarian energy and the truth, moving quickly towards, you know, who you truly are as a person, just being grounded is what I heard. Using your logic about when systems don't work properly. Mm -hmm. See, justice, when systems don't work properly. Some of you guys are now on the defense because you feel like, you know, somebody's taking advantage of a situation here and it's still going on. What else do we have? Tell me about this sunshine that's sitting over here in, in Taurus's other person's energy because I almost feel like they think they got away with something here. Like their whole scheme was to get what they wanted. Hermit energy. Car. Moving forward.
for some for some reason your other person feels like they're in a toxic situation themselves it's not just a mental thing here and it's it has to do with some sort of energy it's like a there could be an energy here of like a Jezebel I, I do see a Jezebel type of energy that sits on someone that's real toxic okay and somebody's having to go within and really think about this and and try to get rest here I feel like someone is searching for an antidote searching for some sort of healing mm -hmm. I feel like this person also does like to be left alone I feel like this is a solo dolo energy you don't see this person very often Aquarian energy again this is also Libra energy as well with Gemini there's a okay so I feel like there's a conversation here this person is in a situation where they feel like you know you're stuck with some of the things that you're doing because Taurus this is you right here they're trying to bring you some sort of an enlightenment about how things are not going to move forward for you the way that you think because I honestly I feel like they're trying to tell you that life is harsh okay that you're always gonna have to protect yourself always all right see what I'm saying always have to protect yourself there's only two things that are certain in life and that's death and taxes right so you've got judgment here scorpionic energy and then you have the world card okay so the devil energy here this person has been I, whoever this person is for you Taurus they have gone through a very hard shake in life and I for some of you they are trying to protect you against hard knocks they don't always do it in the right way though you know and I feel like at some point you two if you're going round and round it's the way that they communicate with you where if there was like a smack in the face or something like that they have to learn to, to kind of step back I feel like if that did happen if there is some sort of cycle between the two of you this person would like to make sure that that ends and you move into something a little more peaceful here okay yeah they do the six of pentacles bottom of the deck so that's you you know they they're not sure about where you're at right now or how to balance this out but they do want to come forward to you they're on the defense though they don't know how to do it yeah but they will that's what I see they will so you know take it as it resonates you know I, I see a couple of different versions of what could be happening here um, for some of you guys there your other person could also be stuck in an energy of where they have um, they disappear here and there they do and what they're not communicating with you is that they're dealing with a pregnancy mm -hmm. yeah and and it's something that they have to take care of I don't know if it's it's but I know that between the two of you it's a problem it's a problem with this three of swords it's betrayal it's a betrayal and it's a burden yeah manifestation manifestation you have the black Herman right here in the middle between the two of you so this is the magician this is someone who's deliberately trying to cause drama and stress and this is the judgment that's getting ready to come out about this opportunity this new blessing okay spirits coming in and showing you to be on the defense from this manipulation and these lies that are coming in you're, you're receiving messages very intuitive the mother of coins is an intuitive person as well you might be getting these messages in dream state you'll notice how she's dreaming okay it might be you might be a little slow to put it together but you're catching on pretty quickly okay you're catching on on how to open up your third eye that's another thing because I'm looking here and I feel like this is crown chakra energy mm -hmm. yeah there's a past life here you're looking at it you know it's funny you know what I really keep saying I keep seeing a clean cowboy and I see a dirty cowboy that's what I see I see someone that is is has integrity is like you know how do you do ma'am and then I see this over here is someone being just a, a scoundrel you know taking life from people um, you know, someone who's a murderer you know and and this is this is kind of who you're dealing with you're dealing with a clown it's a past life soulmate though see 
Okay. I mean, you, you guys could be sexual in nature. You could be mother-daughter. You could be father-son. However this goes. You could be brother-sister. You could be homeboys. You could be homegirls. But there's definitely a truth that comes out. This person is about to find out some sort of clarity. And I promise you, I, I know that this person is bitter and I know that this person is jaded. But there's something about whatever it is that they say to you, okay? It might be wrapped and grounded in manipulation and, and just whatever. But it is definitely a point that this person is learning about introspection. They're learning about themselves. The, re the reveal is sending them into this hermit energy where they're finding the truth out about themselves. There's something here where you've kind of been trying to show them about the life that they're living is a lie. The life that they've been living is full of narcissism and greed. It's not the way it's supposed to be. And it's time. Okay, you, if you guys are twin flames, you're teaching them this lesson about love. Remember, we saw this card already. We saw this card already. Now, that was also two males at the bottom of the deck. I normally don't shuffle in the middle of a read like that. So I, they told me to clear the energy and do one more for the magician, please. The Vimeo extended link is going to be below. That Vimeo extended link is going to hold what we look at more in detail this person's headspace and how they feel about you if there's a third party going on here especially with the pregnancy someone might be trapped in if there's a leo here i feel like there's there's also a leo and a, a virgo that are here together and it causes issues it causes this person to be grumpy and crappy if that makes sense okay yeah, because it's toxic. This person needs to kind of get off of it. They obsess over it. And it's there's something that's there, and it's causing a problem between the two of you. I also feel that. Okay. Anyway, so then we also look at your headspace as well. What else do we need to know about this magician energy? Mm -hmm. What are their actions? What What's happening here? Moon. I told you. Something being manifested that's shady, but the universe has your back. That's just what I heard. And they're giving me this deck as well. Hold on. Tell me about this moon energy. This deception over on your side. I, Taurus, I'm going to tell you now. You guys, you know how to move forward to get away with whatever it is you need to get away with. Okay, this is somebody getting away with something. All right. And if you protect yourself, you might move past whatever greedy, shanky, shiny penny this person is trying to hold up for you. Because I did see that Ace of um, Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles in this deck has a shiny penny in it. It might look shiny, but it's not. That's what I'm hearing. I hope that's not annoying. Because <laughs> this person is about to get on your nerves. And then when they don't get their way, they get bitchy. Mm -hmm. And go out of their way to stress you out. This person is off the chain. I'm telling you, they are coming in with some sort of offer. Protect yourself because you know it's a lie. That's what I'm hearing. That's this deception. Any other information on this deception? Oh, I just heard you need to protect yourself from death. This person has uh, an energy around them that tries to pull you down. You know what I'm saying? They like trying to pull people. People's light is what it feels like. The, the people that are of light, they try to trap them with their toxicity and then they pull them down. It's kind of like they suck them dry. They're really good about it too. They're very talented. Surgical with it. That's what I just heard. Surgical with it. Yep. I know it's true too. Strategic and surgical with it. Nine of Swords, the same Nine of Swords over here, the things that they're getting ready to just start talking about, the things they're getting ready to just start doing, okay, it's their mind state, hot, fiery, passionate, I need to get over, what else, this truth that's coming out, I told you it's an offer, it's a stressful offer, eight and nine, this person is bringing in conflict, eight, nine, 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 queen of spades, queen of knives, here you go, I told you, this person is trying to take advantage. I will see you guys over on the extended. Vimeo link is below. Don't forget Friday Night Love Tarot. I love you bunches. Peace and elbow grease.